Hey, this is Ross with my partner, Bob. We have a show called Worldview Matters. And Ross, as you know, we believe that everything in life is somehow related to how people view the world around them. Our show is available on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app. Also available on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday the 18th. I'm James Spann, getting awfully windy out, and we've got rain moving in tonight, but thankfully no severe weather expected. Let's check some of the Skycam shots around the network this afternoon. We'll start with the uh, Birmingham Skycam, and look at that. We've got a really nice view of the new Regions Park that is being built in downtown Birmingham. That's the new home of the Birmingham Barons. Uh, I guess construction will be completed pretty soon out there. They'll start playing ball in April. Uh, the sky becoming mostly cloudy and, again, pretty windy. we got gusty winds uh, up on the ridgetops gusting to 40 miles an hour at times. That's the Inverness Sky Cam overlooking Highway 280. And up in Hamilton in northwest Alabama in Marion County, the sky there is mostly cloudy. Pretty decent little trough moving in, and that's going to squeeze out some rain tonight. But thankfully, there is no uh, surface-based instability, so severe weather not expected. Temperatures around 60 in most spots today, but we'll get a pop of colder air coming in here uh, on Wednesday. In fact, uh, you can see the colder air invading the northern states. And uh, I think by Wednesday morning, a pretty good chance we'll see 20s around here. Lows in the mid to upper 20s, and uh, we'll struggle to reach 50 on Wednesday as that uh, cool air settles in for one day. Look at here, off to the west, that is a severe thunderstorm watch for the Arklatex region until 9 o'clock tonight. Uh, the main risk out there would be from hail and strong straight-line winds, although I think there's been a tornado warning issued in the last few minutes for parts of north Louisiana. But again, we do not expect any issues with severe weather here tonight, and that's the risk for the rest of today and tonight, basically in the same spot as that uh, severe thunderstorm watch. Now, this is for day three, which is Wednesday. Got the standard slight risk over Texas, uh, Dallas-Fort Worth, down through Waco, almost down to Austin. And on day four, the risk does not include Alabama. This is for Thursday. <laughs> a risk from near Meridian through Jackson back over to Shreveport. And uh, the odds of severe weather are looking very small with that Thursday night event here, as you'll see. But rain, you bet. A lot of rain. This is for the next five days. This carries us through to Monday evening of next week. And this is suggesting rain amounts of three to five inches around here with multiple rounds of rain. And the bullseye is down around Roanoke with 6.3 inches there. So, uh, again, this is drought-busting type stuff. This is rain that we'll certainly be thankful for during that long, hot summer. Uh, we'll start with the HRRR model. This is valid tonight just after midnight. This is 1 a.m., and that's the batch of rain coming through. And there could be some thunder here, but as discussed, severe weather not likely because there is no surface-based instability. Any thunder should be elevated. And then tomorrow at noon, very high amplitude pattern, big upper low north of us, ridging to the west, then a, a big trough over California in the west coast. Down below that, the rain should be over by midday. In fact, looks like the bulk of the rain should be ending probably by maybe 6 or 7 o'clock in, mor in the morning. The sky becomes sunny by afternoon. Uh, the high should be in the mid to upper 50s. The GFS is showing 57. That sounds about right. Then Wednesday, Wednesday morning is going to be cold again. Uh, I think good chance we'll see mid to upper 20s to start the day. Uh, the high close to 50. It's going to be a chilly day on Wednesday. But note off to the west, you can see the winds are tightening up over Texas and the southern plains in advance of our new storm. And Thursday, that begins to lift out. And really in two chunks, we've got uh, one part that's over the high plains, another part that is hanging back near San Diego. And I think what that means, we're going to have two rounds of rain with that feature. This is Thursday at midday. We're dry. Storms form off to the west. Those could be strong to severe over Arkansas, Louisiana. We'll go to Thursday night at midnight. A 1,010 millibar low is near Columbus, Mississippi and Starkville, and that would be wet, maybe some thunder, but look at this, just no instability. The green, that is the unstable air, gets up toward Mobile and Baldwin counties, and that's about it. Now, the GFS can underestimate the instability, but I think in this case, that's probably correct. So for now, the severe weather chance looks minimal. Shear values are pretty decent. This is the shear between the surface and about 5,000 feet. The numbers are maxed out over northeast Alabama, but with no instability stability that should prevent a severe weather problem now here's the deal friday we should get a break during the day friday as that boundary drops down to the south 
so Friday could be a relatively dry day. And if this is right, we'll warm up to near 70. But look what happens Friday night. A wave forms on the front, and we go wet again. That's in response to the second disturbance you saw that was uh, near San Diego. So another round of rain and storms Friday night. Now, Friday, uh, the GFS is suggesting we might get up to 70, and this might suggest uh, some strong storms Friday night with this feature. It's just something to watch. And then Saturday at midday, the rain is ending again. So looks like a batch of rain Thursday night, another batch of rain Friday night. And that Friday night thing could bring some strong storms. We'll see. Uh, but Saturday looks like a day with rain ending in the morning and uh, probably clearing Saturday night. And then Sunday looks nice. Uh, should be a dry day with a high well up in the 60s. The GFS is at 69. Don't see the uh, thickness values in the graphics here, but again, uh, upper 60s would seem likely. And then a week from today, here comes another trough and another round of storms that might start Sunday night that would continue into Monday morning. So uh, very active, and that's why you're seeing so much rain being printed out here. Any break in the rain will be short-lived. Let's go out there toward the end of the month. This is the 27th. That's a blizzard-looking kind of thing for Chicago, isn't it? Uh, 996 millibar low over Illinois with rain here. And, ooh, look at the 28th. Uh, now, this is evidence of maybe uh, the rain changing to snow briefly before ending at the end of the month, and it turns cold. And look at March the 2nd, a cold upper low, a vortex over the Great Lakes. And down below that, the 540 line down to Mobile. So if this is right, the 1st of March, or the, actually this is the 2nd of March, could be very cold. And what happens two days later? Ho, ho, a little early March snowstorm in the land of voodoo. Uh, but, yeah, come on. You know this will probably vanish on the next run. We've seen no consistency in this idea. End of the forecast on the 6th. Look at that upper low showing up uh, over, uh, what, Greenville, South Carolina. Cold core looking upper low, uh, weatherman's woe, all kind of mess if that happens to be correct. But, again, this is pure speculation, and don't be shocked that that vanishes on the next run. That's it for the Weather Extreme video uh, this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can, watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340, on the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless. Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show, available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app, and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com.